Okay, this next exercise, uh, this presumes that you've practiced the sit and the down and the stand. Now I'm going to show you how to put them together in preparation for teaching hand signals. Okay, we start the dog here and we do the sit. Down, sit, stand, down, and this is a hard one from a down to a stand, stand. You want to start stringing them together so each one flows into each other one seamlessly. Sit, down, sit, stand, down, stand. Good. Again, what we want to do here is string together the sit, the down, and the stand commands. So we go start with the sit, down, sit, stand, down, stand. And we want to keep doing this till this becomes rote and automatic for the dog because it sets up our ability to teach hand signals. Down, sit, down, sit, stand, down, stand, down, sit, down. And we want to ultimately get to the point where you can knock out 10 of these for one treat. 10 for one. Sit, down, sit, stand, down in any configuration. Sit, stand, down, stand, sit. So this one here is doing really, really, really fantastic. Sit, down, stand, sit, stand, down. Now all this stuff is usually pretty easy to teach. 15 minutes ago this little puppy didn't know anything. Look what she's doing now. It's pretty fantastic. Hi. Okay, in this next exercise, uh, we're going to presume that your puppy understands, based on other videos, sit, down, and stand. And I'm going to show you how to start introducing the concept of hand signals into this. Okay? So we've done this sit, to down, to sit, to stand, to down. What I'm going to do now is start by, instead of holding the treat this way, hold the treat between my fingers and start doing hand signals, which are sit, down, and stand. So I've got the puppy here and I just go sit. Okay, now you'll notice that the treat follows the same path of motion as it did before, except now there's a lot of visual emphasis on my hand. Stand, sit. Good. From sit to down, down, very good, and I leave the treat on the ground for the puppy to pick up at this point. Sit. Good job. Stand. Very nice. Now I want to do a bunch of these so the dog really gets the idea of hand signals. Sit. Down. Stand. Now, another little trick, I'm going to start having some treats in my left hand, which I'm going to hide behind my back. So the next step in this is I'm going to lure the dog into the sit, sit, but I'm going to start delivering the treat from the other hand. Whoopsie. <clears throat> Down, but I'm going to deliver from the other hand. When you do this enough times, the dog will begin to ignore the treat in this hand, stand, and start looking for the treat from the other hand, at which point you can get rid of this treat. Sit. I don't know if we're going to get there with him this quickly, but let's find out. Good. Okay, no treat. Down. Treat from the other hand. Sit. No treat, right? Stand. Stand's kind of the hardest one because the dog really can see that stand. There we go. See that there's nothing there. So you want to convince the dog that the treat's coming anyway. Down. Good. You start with the sit down stand drill. Then put the treat in this finger. In, be in between your fingers. Start doing the hand signals this way. 
After a little while, after a little while, you still lure here, but you deliver from here until you don't need a treat here at all, down, and you just deliver from behind your back. Now, your dog knows they're still gonna get a treat, but they can't tell when and where the treat's gonna come from based on looking at this hand. So now the dog is independently learning to identify hand signals on this side for, for an intermittent reward from behind your back. So it's a fabulous way to start introducing hand signals. And again, 20 minutes ago, this puppy didn't know anything. Now he's learning hand signals. It's great. Thank mm -hmm. you.